The Virginia Tech motto is invent the future, and in the form of a robotic hand, mechanical engineering student Kyle Cawthorn has done just that. It's called Raphael, which stands for Robotic Air Powered Hand with Elastic Ligaments. Uh, the way we came up with it was we were working on uh, a larger humanoid robot called Charlie. And in this project, we were doing brainstorming to make hands for Charlie. After Raphael won a national competition, Cawthorn and his team decided to try their hand at the international level. We entered in a, a competition called the ASME's uh, International Robotics Design and Mechanisms Design Competition. We competed in that and we bested a team from MIT and UC Berkeley and uh, also a team from Purdue. So we got first place in that and we're really excited. Raphael might not be able to pick up the most precise objects, but it can pick up most everyday objects like this. And throw them. The really cool thing about this is uh, if someone wants to use this prosthetic limb, you could really easily just strap it to your arm. And then when you want to grab something like this, it's pretty easy to grab it, drink out of it. Put it back down. No problem. But uh, you could really easily operate it with just a few uh, switches at, in your toes. So someone who hadn't lost their uh, feet yet, but still had their hand, <laughs> or was missing a hand, could still operate uh, something as simple as this with just a few uh, button presses. Other hands like this already exist, but Raphael offers one major advantage. Price. Um, the closest comparable hand on the market costs $18,000. Um, this hand costs roughly $400 in materials to make. What's amazing about that is you can, then you can start using it in throwaway applications. Something like uh, bomb disposal. If you need to go and manipulate a bomb, but you're worried that you're going to put this really expensive human-like manipulator on there, you don't have to worry with something like this. For VTTV in Blacksburg, I'm Jonathan Carlin.